Hi everyone, this is Lauren here at the Golf Ranch. This is Ping Month, we're in June, and uh, we're giving away a Ping $800 shopping spree. So we're gonna talk just a little bit about what's in my bag, why I play it, and what the benefits are of Ping Golf Clubs. So let's roll. Then we get into the G430 irons. G430 irons are a little bit stronger lofted this year than the 425s. So I thought that might be a little bit of a problem for spin because I am getting older and slower like many of us are. But what we found this year is that they launch higher than last year's 425, even though they're a degree and a half stronger lofted and they spin very well. So stopping them on the green isn't an issue. We've got down to the 45 degree club. Now this year, because ping did go stronger in loft in the seven iron, it's 29 degrees. They didn't want to create a five or six degree gap in the shorter iron, so they added a golf club. They go, the pitching wedge is 41 degrees, and then they go 45 and a half, and it's actually marked, and we're gonna to try to get it on camera just a little bit. It's actually marked 45 degrees. And then they made a 50 degree gap wedge. Uh, most of you will recall, Ping has always had the W wedge and the U wedge as their gap wedge, and they're not doing that this year. Now, I stayed with the 50 degree glide, and the reason I stayed with the glide 4.0s, I like to do a lot of chipping around the green with the 50 degree club. It gives me a little more versatility than the 50 degree in the uh, G430 would. That's something for you to consider. If you need forgiveness in an iron, so you like the 430s, doesn't mean you have to go through that 50 degree gap wedge. You have to, we have to figure out as fitters, what are you gonna use that 50 degree gap wedge for? If you're not gonna chip with it, and it's just another fairway shot, it's okay to go ahead and match to the wedge. If you're gonna do any chipping with it, then that is something you might want to consider. Now, I also have the 54 degree glide, 4.0, and I've got a 60 degree. You can see they've all got uh, stamping of the grandkids on them, which we offer here at the Golf Ranch, stamping and coloring. Uh, this 60 degree tour sole, same as last year, has been up to 63. Now I did make one change in the wedges from last year instead of doing a standard 58. Noticed uh, again, as I've gotten a little bit slower, getting out of the bunkers isn't as easy as what it used to. So what I've done is I've went back to an old standby that I've had for years, the Ping I2 XG wedge. That's a copy of the, uh, or copy, that's a, uh, remake of the original Ping I-2 that was so popular on tour back in the 80s and 90s. It's got a uh, beveled sole here. It helps me to get out of the bunkers real easy. It's 56 degrees that I had been up to 58 just to add a little bit of leading edge bounce and uh, it's made it uh, bunkers, bunker shots are really, really easy again. So I hope you enjoyed that part of that. Y'all come in and see us here at the Golf Ranch. Let us do fittings for you. Let us try to help you enjoy the game. Now, I am on Ping staff as a fitter, but uh, we fit for every single major brand. But this is Ping month, so we're going to talk about Ping.